What's going on guys? Jeremy here with Gun Mag Warehouse and if you clicked the video you already know why you're here. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and we'll get right into it. All right, so this is the Magpul PMAG 27 round magazine. Let's see how it does. There she goes. No problems whatsoever. So I got the ETS polymer extended magazine. Let's see how she runs. Now we got the SGM Tactical 33 round extended Glock mag. Extended mag for Glocks. Tell you what, it's a lot of fun to shoot, to say the least. This is the Magpul 17 round mag. Fantastic. So, now, what you've all been waiting for, the Pro Mag 33 Extended Round Magazine, the absolute most desired magazine on the market that exists today. It does seat with the Bullock Ford, imagine that. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! So let's take it up a notch. I got this little guy right here. It's the uh, KCI 50 round double stack magazine for Glocks. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's dump 50. Oh, one. Had to lock the bolt back forward. So we got one so far. Stick it back in there, throw this down. Come on, baby. You got it. You got this. So it uh, isn't exactly running. We, we dropped out about five rounds, 10 rounds-ish. So we'll see if that makes a difference. Sometimes these springs right out of the box could be a little stiff. Maybe it takes a little breaking in, but uh, let's see if this helps it at all. Did seat, there we go. Oh, starting to run now. There she goes. Let's see what the KCI 17 round aftermarket magazine for Glocks can do. Gotta have the bolt locked back again. I should be getting good at this now at this point. Let's run. Awesome, and lock that bolt back to the rear. So I had a lot of fun out here shooting this, but uh, I'm going to take it back to Jeremy in the studio. For the nerds, we're going to go over some of the little details that matter most to you guys. Jeremy? Hey, thanks, Jeremy. Nice shooting out there, bud. So all four of us continued to shoot this gun with all the different mags, and this is basically what we found. I wrote down some notes here just so I can keep it all straight because they start to get a little crazy after a while. So the 27 round P mag locked the bolt to the rear when it was empty, but it did not seat the bolt. Forward. The ETS 9mm 31 round extended mag for Glock pistols did not seat on the forward bolt, but it did lock the bolt to the rear on empty. The 17 round P mag did not seat on forward bolt, and it did not lock the bolt to the rear. The KCI drum did seat on the forward bolt, but did not lock the bolt to the rear on empty. And the 17 round KCI mag did not seat on the forward bolt, and did lock the bolt to the rear on empty. There were only a, a few interesting ones. Number one, we tried a single stack Glock mag just to see if it worked, uh, and it did. I mean, technically, if you palm it underneath and make sure it can't come out, it will run, uh, but if you don't put your hand underneath, it'll seat, and after that first round, the recoil just boop, drops it right out. The only other thing that we noticed was the SGM Tactical got a little bit chewed 
up on this. Um, <clears throat> and it wasn't the front side, it's back there on the rear. And it had to have been the bolt, obviously, to make that sort of issue. I can't really tell exactly what's different that would have caused this issue. Maybe it could have happened to any of the mags. I'm not sure. So take that with a grain of salt, just like everything else. But that's basically the results we got from all the different mags uh, thus far. So I'm gonna get right into it. This is a whole lot of fun to shoot, but there's some interesting features that uh, I wanted to talk about here rather than on the range. First and foremost, out of all the mags that we tested, there was only one that had both of the important features that we wanted, which were that the mag would seat with the bolt forward and that at, after the last round, the bolt would lock to the rear with a last round bolt hold. The only magazine that did that were the factory Glock uh, magazines. This is the 33 round extended magazine. Double stack, obviously, in nine millimeter. This was the only one that did both. All the others either did one or the other or sometimes neither, but they all performed. They all went pretty well other than the KCI drum mag, which I think is just a fresh spring. Those springs are really tight. Once we dropped out about eight or 10 rounds out of there, it ran flawlessly as well. So I would be willing to bet if we ran it again, maybe three or four times, it's gonna run pretty consistently. But take everything I said with a grain of salt because this isn't a super scientific test. We did use all the same ammunition just to make sure that we could isolate some of the variables, but um, it's in no way, shape, or form the final verdict on its ability to perform or not. So to do some of the uh, changes around to this thing, it's actually really simple. You can see we got two pins right here. Really, we only need to take the back one out in order to do most of the changes that we want. Um, the only two that I was really interested in, which I didn't know about this back plate in the box, were the charging handle up at the front and now swapping out this back end. So once you pop that pin out, the lower comes off and then the brace will come off as well. And you can slip this up into the base plate area and lock everything back down. You can also use this opportunity to swap the bolt. So all you gotta do is bring the bolt back. There's a little opening back here, which will allow you to pull the bolt straight up out of there and then put it in on the other side. And then the same thing goes, pop that down in there, start sending it forward. Sometimes it takes a little bit of, there it is, a little bit of jiggling. Give it a little jiggle and you should be good. And then slap it all back together. So you just put this rear end back on, whether that's the uh, the base plate or the <clears throat> brace, totally up to you. I'm just gonna put it back in in its standard configuration. Boom, pop the pin across and you're done. Just like that. Pretty easy to change some things out. I think that the Strybog was missing the Glock magazine from the very beginning. That's my own opinion. I believe that it should have probably stayed away from the proprietary mags and stuck with Glock mags. They're so prolific that everybody's basically got them. And instead of having to buy a new proprietary mag for it, you can just use some of the mags you already have. Like that absolutely changes the game for something like this. Recoil control is incredibly easy to handle. And for the price point, there's really nothing that can compete with something like this right now. So. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you comment if you got any questions and I will be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, we're filming this in the past, you're in the future. So if I said anything wrong, just know that I'm much better now and uh, that was the old me and this current version of me would never make such a stupid mistake. So don't worry about all that. I'm, I'm totally improved now. So thanks for the comment anyway. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for shopping Gummag Warehouse.